Are you ready? What if I told you that we use one camera, no crew, and the power of Artless new AI voiceover tool to make an entire ad, and today I'm gonna show you how you can do the exact same thing. Let's go. So you wanna make an ad, you wanna make a beautiful, incredible standout ad, but you want to be efficient. Well, that's exactly what we set out to do. We had a pair of headphones, we wanted to make a spec ad, but we wanted to highlight Artless new AI voiceover feature and put it to the test. Find out if we could use an AI voiceover feature to actually get a human-like, crisp, clean storytelling view. And we did exactly that. So in this video, we're gonna go through the three key steps that we did to do that, which is pre-production, production, and post-production. And albeit those sound a little bit basic and straightforward, but within those, there's a lot of intricacies that went into building this into what it was. And make sure to stick around to the end of this video where we go over the game-changing things that you can adjust to take that voiceover from 80% to sounding crisp, clean, perfect, and bringing it all together, all right? Let's dive in. For this shoot, we want to work with something that was gonna give us just a general platform and an idea behind what we were doing, but not a rigid shoot schedule that was gonna kind of force us into certain shots. The whole idea here is we want to get to the location, play with the light, and see what kind of creative stuff we could do. Okay, so diving in here, I actually made a super simple mood board for this shoot, something to just help feel inspired and feel the vibe before going into shooting. Every shoot is different, and so is the level of detail required in pre-production. But with total freedom, I prefer to have just light imagery and general shot inspiration, and you'll see how this kind of helped us be more inspired by our environment as we were shooting. What I did do though, is choose the song prior to the shoot. And if we give it a quick listen here, you can hear that it's just a really chill song, very ambient, which leaves a ton of room for voiceover and a lot of room for storytelling and sound effects. So once I had done that, I went into the process of writing the VO, which inspired by the music and the subject is this very implicit idea of being in a different place mentally and kind of having music or a VO per se help you travel there. With Artless new AI voiceover feature, I could actually just go right over to their website, click on the voiceover section, and go through this list of voices that they have available, In the which is honestly Arctic, a ton of them. Amidst the All right, so maybe I just wanted to grab something like this. Find a comfortable seat. That sounds great. Okay, so all I have to do is paste my script in here. There are some settings that we can change up here, but I'll get into those later when we try and dial this voiceover in a bit more. All I have to do is press generate. So once that's generated, we can go ahead and listen. Where do you go? Is it calm or curiosity? And honestly, off the bat, without making any tweaks, that sounds amazing. So what's really, really cool about this is we have all this inspiration. We have the sound of the VO and we can still make so many adjustments to it. So we're not tied to it and we have the song. So we, we can kind of go into the shoot with that vibe in mind. So shooting was fairly straightforward. We had two key settings and we knew we wanted to capture some similar shots in both. This consisted of some mounted shots to really pull the product into the video, as well as some orbiting shots to capture the hero in her element. And also some close-ups to add interesting textures to play within the edit. Repeating and mimicking some of these angles and movements in different settings gave us the flexibility match cut between these two worlds per se. And part of finding a unique look is also being able to be flexible. A big thing for me is playing with light. So if I see some interesting light patterns while I'm on set, I might move things or change a shot to try and cater to that. For example, we have light coming through these shades here. We take our subject or our product, whatever it is, and play with the shadows in that. And I think that's what we'll do. So once you feel like you got all the shots, go back to your storyboard. <laughs> Make sure you got the shots that you originally planned for. So end of the day, if everything goes wrong, you can still tell the story. All right, so hopping into post-production, I've kind of done the edit already here. We've got all the clips together. We've got the sound effects, which I pulled from Artlist. Also in this timeline, we can add the song, which kind of starts occurring right when the eye opens. And this sets us up pretty well to add our voiceover. So back into Artlist, I chose the Serenity voice. It works really well for what we're trying to do. And as you can see, I've generated a couple different iterations. This is where I'm playing with these different attributes to get the feel that I want. And what's really unique is they do start to sound a bit different depending on how you change those features. And I'll show you an example. Are you ready? And then we have... Are you ready? When you listen closely. When you listen closely. As you can see, it can really tweak the cadence and the feel of the voice, which is very, very useful when you're trying to capture a certain feeling. Right now, it sounds great, but I want to blend it with our video. I want to make it sound exactly how I want it, not just good. So back in Resolve, the first thing I do once I get my voiceover in the timeline is I chop it up and place it so it fits with the timing that I want. As you can see, I place things with a bit more space. Are you ready? When you listen close. And then all I need to do after that is go ahead and add a reverb filter. Now, when it comes to reverb, I've made a preset for myself, which I call voice minor, but you can copy these attributes and do the same thing in your timeline if you like, or custom make your own. I'm gonna go ahead and increase my dry wet by about 7% here. 
and then bam, it's good to go. So let's give this thing a watch. Are you ready? When you listen closely, where do you go? Is it calm or curiosity? A place you know or somewhere new? You might think this is about the headphones, but it's really about the voice. Artlist's AI voiceover feature. As you can see, when you dial it down, when you move things around, this gave us a compelling outcome. It was really, really cool to see how effective that could be. Not only do we have this incredible new tool we can add to our belts, but it's all in one place, in one platform that allows you to access all these things. So if you guys haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to Artless YouTube channel for more tips and tricks for filmmakers, aspiring creators, everyone that has use for this kind of stuff make sure you subscribe. But anyways, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.